like the, somebody that's your first and last name one time? John Dobbs. John Dobbs. 1974. John, I'm Detective. Yeah. I'm, I'm Detective Fagan with the Orange County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit, okay? This is Detective Tom. Homicide. Yeah. We, we investigate all crimes of uh, this type of level. What level is this one? Uh, what are we doing? Stabbing people, stabbing people and cutting people. Mm -hmm. Stuff of that nature. Mm -hmm. Assaults, batteries, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, John, this is what we got. I'm just going to lay it out for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Right now, we got several, several people putting you guys, you and your girlfriend, at the, uh, the uh, dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Putting you being involved in a fight. Give me one second. Go ahead, sir. But like he was saying, yeah. Uh, I don't, can they get in? There's a fight that took place in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we already know all that, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just yeah, here. Okay. We, we just want your side of the story of what happened. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we want, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of guys we know that's been stabbed, okay? Mm -hmm. So we just want your side of the story of what happened, mm -hmm. all right? Because there's always two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, we just want you to tell us what, what is that going to happen here. Please. Mm -hmm. He can go. You just hold it off right now. Okay. And I know he was explaining, but basically this is where the tie goes. Um, we got to go hope and all the witnesses. We're looking at you. You got blood all over you. We know you're involved in something. Mm -hmm. We don't know how it started. We got like one side of it. We got their side of what happened, okay? We're so here to get you. Do, we, do, we need a, do they have surveillance cameras for the parking lot? Yes, they do. Okay. But unfortunately for you, the surveillance cameras only cover the front half of the parking lot. The area where you were, no. Okay. The area where the fight occurred, no. So we got their stories, we got the people working there, and stories. People working there, say. Huh? Again, I will. Yeah, I, we'll get to that. Okay. But I'm just, you know, I'm just laying this out for you. We got those those stories. We got your girlfriend over here. We're going to talk to her. You got her name? Yeah, she's here. And uh, we get everybody's side of what happened. I mean, it's it's not that... It's not that difficult. I'm yeah, it's not out. difficult at all. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what. Okay, happened. first, before we before I let you do that, I have to read you your rights. Okay, because this is a crime, and you do have rights. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to read that to you. I hold and your or to get your side. So we have both sides. Don't just arrest. I don't want to arrest a person just to be arresting because somebody said this happened. I try to look at both sides. Okay. Oh, they've right, been arrested. Okay. You had a right, well, you hadn't been taken over to the jail yet, you see what I'm saying? Okay, you had a right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. You, anything you say may be used against you in court, do you understand that? Yes. You had a right to talk, talk to a lawyer before and during questioning, do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, as I was saying, my whole intention here is to get your I'm going to get your girlfriend's side, I'm going to get your side. I got their side of what happened. I don't know what started this. They, they, they are really pretty vague on what started this. Of course. Okay. So, uh, what we're here is to get the whole story. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with that in mind, do you want to tell us what happened? We spoke inside the club. I mean, y'all were inside, y'all met inside the club? Me and one of the guys. I don't know the name. We got tattoos. Can you describe it? Ice cream kid tattoo on his name. No. What about his hair? Do you have long hair, short hair? It looks like some kind of braided. Braid? Thing. Like braids coming to the sides, you think? No, I think it was more going up. I'm not. Couldn't really. You know, it, was, it was like real brief. I met him going out the door. Okay. That's when you're leaving? When we leave at the end of the night. I said right before you exit the minute. Mm -hmm. And what what transpired there? No, he was just questioning me about chicks, about because 
one, one girl calls me daddy, and you know, we was playing around talking to the other, talking to the dancers there. And I was like, you know, my girl calls me daddy. And he was like, oh, you got hoes. And I was like, nah, why anybody think that? Because somebody called me daddy that I got hoes. And you know, and then he, he just gave me a bad vibe, but I was just like, you know, leave him. So I went outside, and I guess they was plotting on me or something. And when you said that, how many? I mean, I seen them with at least three, four of the guys. Okay, and were they all outside the club when you got out, or were they? Well, I was getting in my car, and they was getting in the car, you know, a couple what? of cough, car measures away from me. What kind of car? Stop. What kind of car were they getting in? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't watching all that. I just heard them say something like, oh, you see, he got the security around him and he grabbed his girl and he left, you know? And he called me a player before, so I figured it was just gonna be a conversation, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, basically, he said that and I was like, kind of thrown off, like, you know, they was kind of laughing, so I was like, you know, maybe I said pop, talk a little shit, you know? So. I didn't exactly get in the car. I walked to the back of my car, but one of the guys started walking toward me fast. Then I caught the vibe, like, hold up, this guy it looks like he wants to fight. Is this the same one you were talking to inside? No, this is just a different one. The, a, a big, heavy set one, right? They they all was, do you recall how he was dressed? He had a white tank top on. I know that much. White tank top? Yeah, I think he had a black shirt over it, but it was open at the top. Anyway, or something like that. Okay, and as he approached you, what happened? As he approached me, he looked like he was going to fight. Okay. And that's when I said, hold up. I said, we're not going to fight. Where are you at at this time? Standing at the trunk of my car. Okay. So you you were getting in your car and you came around to the trunk area? Yeah, cause I, you know, I, I, but I didn't realize his friend was going to come over there. So you were actually, like, in conversation, or? Well, you know, I heard what he said, and I was getting ready to say, hey, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of girls that go around, whatever, you know, talk shit, whatever, you know? But then I seen this boy rushing towards me, like, you know, like I said, man. So then the boy comes to me, and, and I'm telling this boy, like, yo, ain't gonna be no fighting or none of that shit, right? You know, my girl's already sitting in the car, because I don't lock the door for her. And um, all of a sudden he hit me, boom. Like he came up to me and he just hit me, boom. And I'm like, where the hell is this coming from? You know, so I tried to back him up a little bit. And now, when this guy hit you, did he hit you in the face? Yeah, he hit me in the face kind of, but I kind of like moved a little bit. And it still hit me in the face though, you know. He still hit me in the face. I... Anyway, boom, you know. And I was dizzy after that. Like, had you had anything to drink? I Me, mean, yeah, I had, I had a drink. How many different drinks? One, two. I mean, what, one. As a matter of fact, I only had one. What? What was it? I mean, Heineken. Heineken beer. Mm -hmm. Had you had anything to smoke? Anything? Any drugs that would offer your? No, I didn't have anything. No drugs. Anyway. Okay, so you, your recollection is clear. What happened? Up until the point where, I mean, the, 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 kid, the kid was banging me around like a rag doll. This is the kind of stout one? Huh? This is the one that's stout, the first one? Yeah, but all of them was bigger than me. Okay. I mean, you know. So he hits you? He hit me, bam. You try to get space? Well, you know, what it was was like, he hit me, and it was automatically a fight. Like, you know, so I tried to, like, swing him back and off. And that, then I was thinking, like, you know, I'm going to have to hit this guy in his head. Mm -hmm. So I tried to hit him. And then, I, you know, I seen the other guys coming, you know. And that's when I had a, I had a pocket knife. I pulled it out. You know what I'm Where saying? was that? Where was the pocket knife? In your front pocket? It was in my back pocket. I had originally told them that it wasn't mine, but it was. Then after that, I couldn't remember nothing because the guy had me by my shirt and one of the big guys had me by my shirt. Because one guy came up, I remember that, and, and I was like, I looked at him, he didn't move. Mm -hmm. So I said, this guy's not fighting. And I said it out loud. Mm -hmm. So then I just, you know, boom, 
turned around. And I remember, matter of fact, yeah, my girl got out of the car because they was jumping on me. Mm-hmm. And she tried to push them mm-hmm. off me, like, yo, get off of him, get off of him, you know? And Did you see any of the workers or the bouncers or anything out there? I couldn't see nobody. Actually, I couldn't see nobody. I was blacked out. I mean, during the whole process, I was trying to grab, I was getting hit so many times, I was trying to grab focus, but I was still swinging with the knife. And that was it. That's all I could remember. That's, that's all I could remember except for... Miss, you know, how many times do you think those guys hit you? If you had to... Damn. I don't know. There's so many... It was... Different people hit me at different times, but there was this yeah. one guy who really <coughs> had me. Mm-hmm. He really had me by my shirt. He must have hit me like real hard. Bro. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. But I know it was way more. Was he the first times. one that came at you? Huh? The one that had you by the shirt. Is he the first one that came at you, or one of the other? I think he was the other guy. I think he, yeah, he was another guy because he was the one. I think he was the one who I said is not fighting, and I turned around, turned my back on him, mm-hmm. and then he was like. He might probably felt like a punk when I said that. Do you know how he was dressed? He had the same time on too. But, but you know, I don't remember much. You know, all I remember is that I couldn't see, I couldn't really see nothing, and they laid off me for a second. Mm-hmm. And there was a point where, like, like, were you like I was, gra- I was grabbing at some of this stuff, trying to grab. It. You know, like, you know, because I know they had the knife. They had the knife trying to cut me. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know which one had the knife? I don't know. Did don't they know. ever cut you? Yeah, they cut my arm. <coughs> the left arm? Yeah, the left arm. They cut it. You know. Okay. Matter of fact, that's actually, you know, around the same time that I pulled out my knife. Because. You know, I always consider myself with a fair knuckle game. But I don't remember a lot of stuff because it was like, I was surprised that I didn't go, get knocked out. Mm-hmm. Like every second, I was like, oh shit, I'm not knocked out. You know what I'm saying? That's all I could think Have of. Have you ever been in a fight before? I've been in plenty of fights. Like, so you you know, the surprise is like, after the first fight, you know that you can take a lick pretty good. Yeah, I know I could take. I was forty years scrapped. though. You're I'm thirty-two scrapped. years old. I don't been fighting. So you've been scrapped before, you know, real yeah. fist knuckle down fights. Yeah, when I was a kid, you know. Okay. Because I, like, you know, what I mean, I've been, I, like I said, I've been in a few fights, quite yeah. a few, I mean, and I, you know, I, mean, I know any man probably has to go yeah. up anywhere in the urban society. So even in the what I'm saying is, you know, you were up, you were fighting the whole time. You were trying to keep them off you the whole time. Basically. I'm saying they they I thought they would have left me alone when they seen me with the knife. Right. They didn't get you down. No, they didn't get me down. Okay. I don't think so. Yes, I did. Yes, they did, because that's why my knee hurts. They did knock me down. See my pants like that? They got me down. That's when, yeah, that's when. Yeah, they did knock me down. They knocked me down, and my knee is swollen. Yep. I can't remember a lot of stuff because it, because. The way it was, you know, I was taking the beating more. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing I could do is like get away from me, get away okay. from me. Uh tell me this, when did you get the knife? When did you put the knife in your pocket? When I put it back? When did you put it in your pocket? When did you go in the club? Did you have one in the club? The knife? Yeah. Yeah. It's a um it's a knife I used to use we in construction. Mm-hmm. And I used to hang my jackhammer up. I would work with construction. For years, so you know, but I said you gotta do the rope, and sometimes you gotta cut the rope. So I'm saying you, you had it when you went in the club. Yeah, I had it. I had it. I kept it on. Like and they it. didn't search it when you went in the club. No. Is that something you always do? Is keep your knife on you? You know, just I mean, in case you know you might have some trouble or something like that. Basically, okay. You know, because it's a legal knife. You know, I got. You know, the police told me it was all right as long as it wasn't over a certain size. Is that the blade that locks when you open it? Does, does it lock or does yeah, it lock on its own? Okay. Um, after it was over with, you got in your car. 
after after it was over with, actually, I don't really all I remember is trying to stay focused. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing that I remember, just trying to stay focused. So, because you know, it's, when, the, when the police took me out the car, mm -hmm. you know, and I was standing up, I just went like, you know, I was about to pass out. I knew that I would pass out. I passed out before. So I knew that you know, if I stay up, I'm going to pass out. So I laid on the car and told them I'm getting ready to pass out. Let me sit down. But now that, you know, I got my wind and stuff, I'm all right. So boom. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Do you recall yeah. firing your gun? No, no, I didn't fire the gun. I didn't fire the gun. It's not my gun. This is the point. The point is I didn't even realize I had the gun until I was already in the car and it was on my lap. And I was like, I must have grabbed this from one of them. And I was thinking like, either I grabbed it off of somebody's waist or I grabbed it off the ground. Okay, so now. Then so so you're saying that the gun that you had is not your gun? It's not my gun. Do you know how that gun got into your car? It, it, I, I mean, I, I must have brought it to the car, but I'm just saying I don't know how I got it in my hands. So you're saying that gun may have belonged to someone else that you yes. were fighting with? Is that what yeah, you're that's what I'm okay. thinking. I'm thinking it probably belonged to them, and what I did was scare them off, and that's probably why they stopped fighting me when I grabbed it. I don't know why they stopped fighting me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I'm figuring it's that. I'm figuring, matter of fact, I think it's when I hit the floor that I grabbed it. But what I did was go to the car and I had it on my lap mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to do with it. So I was just like, let me see if it's loaded. So I unloaded it, like, you know, unloaded it, like, you know, just concocted it. Is this why you were sitting still in the parking lot? Or had you already started to leave when you were trying to fool with a gun? Excuse me? When, when you, like, like the pistol, when you told me that you had the pistol, uh -huh. where, were you checking the pistol while you were still in the parking lot? Why are you driving down the road? I don't know. I don't know what's the instant I was doing that. I know, basically, made sure that there was nothing in it in the chamber. Mm -hmm. And I took the clip out. But then I had it sitting on my lap. And I was going to, like, you know, wipe, wipe my hand prints off of it. Okay. And then I was going to, then I thought about giving it to my girl. I was like, no, I don't want her to touch it. So then what I did was reach over to the back and try to put it. So I was going to put it somewhere. I said, let me try to squeeze it in between the seat and the back. You know, and that's it. And then when I was, when I got you know, further down the road, the police stopped me. So they stopped you at that point. Do you recall? You know, they stopped me like, you know, they stopped me a while. I, I drove with it on my lap for a while. Mm -hmm. Because I, I didn't know if I was going to throw it out the window, but a car, as a matter of fact, there was a car that came up to me. And the car, you know, matter of fact, and I had the thing on my lap, and I was taking a clip out, and they seen me taking a clip out, and they just, like, tried to make a U turn. It was a truck, it was a burgundy truck, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Well, he was following me. He was following me all that time. Mm -hmm. And he said he shot it. I ain't shoot at nobody. Mm -hmm. I ain't shoot at nobody. Nobody shot at me. Yeah. And, and so, uh, you didn't even have a gunshot residue in your hand from shooting the gun? No. Okay, so you don't mind if we take a test to check and see if you fired a gun or not? Of course not. Hey, uh, John, let me ask you. At the point where you pulled your knife out, okay, you thought these guys were really going to... Um, beat you half to death. Okay, at that point, do you recall when you pulled your knife out? You know, at the point you pulled your knife out, do you know if you stabbed someone then or you tried to cut someone then? Can, can you kind of explain that to you? I know, first, I wanted to make sure that he seen it so he would have backed up. I know that much. So, and, how, and how did you kept kept trying to hit your me. knife like this? Huh? And like <coughs> this, is that how you did? It's, it just, the knife up like I, this. Yeah, and then I tried to, like, you know, I, I wanted to hit him, but I was, he was hitting me on this side. As a matter of fact, I remember the beginning. He was okay. hitting me on this side, so I was blocking with my left, and I wanted to hit him with my right. Okay. And it came to the point where I was trying to hit him, like, I had the knife in my hand, but I was trying to hit him with my hand, actually. 
You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I wanted him to back up, but he just he just wouldn't back up. So I guess I might have said, fuck it, like, and, and tried to swing at him, like, cut him. You know what I'm saying? So that way, when you went to swing at him, you were actually going to hit him, but the knife cut him? Is that yeah, what you Well, saying? actually, I was trying to, like, like, you know, punch him, hit him type thing. Yeah. It wasn't, like, you know, I knew I wasn't going to get a good hit because my way my hand was positioned. Uh-huh. It was just like March one of him. I I didn't think the whole thing was going to be that serious. It just jumped off crazy for me. So after, he, so so the first one that was there, he was trying to punch you from the left, and you, and you had your knife here and your hand to right. So when you came around, you swung at him like that, right? Yeah. First I swung at him like that. Yeah. And, and, and then after that, after, 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 after I kept getting hit, I just was swinging. Okay. So you started swinging the knife back and forth, basically. Now, did you ever like? when you had the knife. I understand, because I've been in a couple of fights before, and if there's more than a couple of guys that's jumping on me, I'm going to be trying my best to try and get, you know, get, get these guys off on me. So, do you ever recall when you made, like, a slashing motion, and then you stabbed someone? Man. Could, could, okay, look, you know, let me explain to you, because these guys have been stabbed in the chest, like a puncture wound in, in the chest, like when he was stabbed like that, instead of cut. Okay, I mean he's not dead or anything, but what I'm saying is, is, is he stabbed? Well, there, well, to tell you the truth, all three of them are stabbed in the chest. Okay, and what those guys are saying is that you stabbed them. Okay, and it's obvious that you did stab them. I'm, I'm by them. my car. I'm standing by my car. They come from all the way over there. I, I'm getting hit. I don't know what I'm. I didn't so know. I just stabbed though. nobody before. You understand? I just was swinging the, the knife. You understand? Okay, let me ask you this: How many? I didn't even guys? know if I hit them right. Okay. I thought I thought maybe I was missing. Sure, I understand, John. But you know, if if you had to say, how many times do you think you stabbed those guys? Oh my God, please, man! I, I don't know what the hell was going on, man. Okay. I don't know. I was barely able to stand. Okay. The only reason I was really probably standing because the guy was holding my shirt. Okay, I've been in some fights before. Okay, and and I know with the fights going That's on, it. you got That's all this. I don't talk about I mean, it. You're, you're excited. I you said, I don't like talk that. about it. No I, just, I told you everything, man. I'm not going to put myself in that position. No more than it's already there. Well, that's up to you. I mean, you can, you, I mean, you can explain to us if you want to, or I mean, but but I'm here just trying to help you, man. That's all I'm trying to do. But but you know, these guys are somebody. You know, somebody's not helping me. Then they know, you know, the whole thing is self defense. They know that somebody else, that somebody else should be saying self defense or whatever. I don't know. But my father was a lawyer, and I'm going to figure something out. John, okay, 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 let me ask you this last thing. Now, when you went to your car, did you go and sit inside your car, or were you standing out beside your car the entire time? Mm -hmm. you know, before, before it started. You, yeah. Before it started? Yeah, when you first came out of the club, uh -huh. did, did you go to your car? I think I was getting ready to sit down. Okay. And then, you know, they was talking. I didn't understand exactly what they said. So I got out, I stood up, like, you know, I think I went halfway down. Okay. I think I just unlocked the door for my girl and went halfway down. And then I was trying to understand what they said, like, huh? You know, and, you know, and then I was like, you know, oh, my head hurts hurting right now. But I think, yeah, I went halfway down. And then I, you know, stood up and, you know, Entertained the conversation, whatever, went to the back. I should have never done that shit. I was a fucking horse from stable. Yeah. So you went to sign you, you in your car, and then these guys started talking some shit to well, you. They, well, they came, they came up to me. Okay. You understand? They came up to me. I didn't come up to them. Okay. He came right. up to me. I said, "It's not going to be no fighting." Shit. I, I hope you ain't thinking it's fighting or something like that. Or I hope you ain't trying to fight or whatever. And you know, the guy came up to me, and I was like, "You know, I was trying to stop. You know, I'm a man like yo. You know." And, and then he swung on me. Did out of all uh, out of those four guys, have you ever seen any of them before tonight? I never seen it. I've only been here. I only came out here to see my kids. I only been here for two days. And you were I staying, never seen the movie. Where are you staying here? I'm staying in the hotel, man. Okay. And uh, you've only been here two days? I've only been here two days. I haven't seen my kids in about a year. And, you know, I was having a hard time, you know, seeing them. So I went to go see them. You know, I went to go see them. 
And I straight today with them after school yesterday, and I did that today. And I was getting ready to leave in a couple of hours, and my girl said, yo, let's go to the strip club. And I said, I remember there's one up here. And I went over to the strip club. So you ain't have nothing planned on going there, just something that came up, y'all just... Yeah, it was yeah, just time. it just came up, and we wasn't even there for about. We was only there. We got there about one thirty something. So it'd be fair to say you've never seen these guys. I've before. never seen them. Don't know them. I mean, the whole thing is like you know, it was crazy to me. What stopped you from getting in your car and leaving? When? When? As as I mean, when they, when you were at your car and he started running his mouth, what stopped you from getting in your car and leaving? I, I guess because I wasn't, I was bored. I was surprised the club was closing at two o'clock, and you know, I, I figured, you know, we was just going to talk shit. You know, I figured I was going to introduce myself mm -hmm. to more people. That's it. I figured I was going to be social. Yeah. You know, I thought, I, you know, I figured I was going to be like, you know, stand up, dude. You know, they, you know, they saying something smart. You know, I ain't figured we was going to get real serious. I mean, we grown men. What the hell are we going to do something like that? We don't even know each other. Your girlfriend. Did anybody say anything out the way to her or anything? You know, nobody what? said nothing to her except for when when they was jumping me and she was pushing. Them. They like give her. Matter of fact, that's when I, I started swinging the knife. Mm -hmm. That's when, cause they said get her, and I was like, what? You know, I tried to get somebody off, of, get somebody away from her. And what's her name again? Deanna. Deanna. Yeah. Cause I already I already had the knife in my pocket. And I already, you know, was like, you know, curious. But I've been in situations like that before and nothing ever happened, you know. I didn't think nothing was going to happen. All right. Okay. I'm going to talk to her real quick. Let's get back here. Need any water in here? Yeah, I appreciate the water. Just water. Let me ask you something. Yes, sir. How long do you think I'm gonna be here? A while. A while. We got we got to interview all of them and all that stuff. Stuff. Still talking to the people out there at the club. Still back. One of the guys in real serious condition. I knew you know. I just left because I didn't want nothing else to happen. Mm -hmm. We can't start over. Mm -hmm. You know. That's the only reason I drove off. Yeah, you can understand that. I mean, you know, you're you know, leaving. I'm just saying, you know, you know, at the beginning, get in your car and get Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, I mean, I was just like, yo, I ain't no punk. I can talk shit with the best of them. That's all. Take hey, up, bro. Go oh, sit. I have to help for it. Yeah. So you want to get out and talk shit? <laughs> just shoot the shit? I mean, that's what people been doing since I came down to the South, like most of the time. Okay. Well, let's follow the night, huh? Man, sure. I mean, it was like, I mean, I don't know how long I was out there staying for, but I mean, the whole thing is just, it just jumped off crazy. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't supposed to be here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't supposed to be in handcuffs right now. If anything, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the only thing is that, I didn't call you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. All right, let's go see what's her strategy. Okay. If I, if, you know, if I'd have called you guys, probably would I be in handcuffs if I called you guys? Hard to say. You had a weapon. They didn't. That's what we didn't find well, no weapon. Th they didn't have no weapon. Then how the hell did they cut me? Yeah, we gotta look at that. That's all part of it. I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I seen the weapon. I seen it. All I did was see it real quick, but I seen it. You know what I'm saying? I kept, that's why I kept like, really kind of like focusing away from the guy that was punching me in my head so hard. I didn't even mess with him really because I couldn't, you know what I'm saying, really even pay attention to him. Hey, John, you got a cell phone? In your yeah, car? Yeah, or I got two cell phones somewhere, probably in my property that y'all got. So can you tell me why you didn't call the sheriff's office when all this happened? Man, I was just like, let me get the hell out of here, man. And then I was driving real slow, just stuck and thinking. Uh -huh. 
you know? And then, I, like I said, I was mostly thinking about that gun. I was like, you know, what I'm gonna do with this, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like... So you were thinking, of, you know, as far as the gun, you were thinking what you could do with the gun instead of calling the sheriff's office? I was thinking about what am I gonna do with it if I'm gonna keep it, throw it away, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I was like, man, let me just go. And I, and I was thinking about my, my blood that was dripping down my face. I had a lot of blood dripping down my face at the moment. And I was asking my girl if I need stitches and stuff like that. And she was like, yo, you might need stitches. Let's go to the hospital. Then you call the police. And I was like, you know, I said, let me go to the hotel and look in the mirror first. See, that's, that's the only thing I I'd say, because if you had a cell phone with you, I was wondering why you didn't go ahead and call the sheriff's office. I mean, if I had just been in a fight, I mean, as a, as a practical person, and you appear to me to be a practical, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm a practical yeah, person, yeah, but I, I'm not going to lie, I never called the police. Sure, I understand that, but you know, you have to talk about, I, I mean, I can understand if you were just in a fist fight, but you, you know, you, there are some guys that's been stabbed. Yeah, but I didn't even realize you know, I was poking them. I, I didn't even realize that I was actually getting to them. Okay. You understand? I, as a matter of fact, I realized that at the last second. Now, did you ever see any of those guys fall to the ground? No, I didn't see nobody fall to the ground except for at the end, I seen somebody holding somebody. Okay. I seen somebody holding somebody, and I was like, you know. So after you. As see long as they're not messing with me right now, that's when I, you know, I so think that's when I got the gun, and I think that's when I decided, you know, as long as they back up off of me, I'm out of here. Yeah. And yeah. on the way out, I almost hit one of the valet guys, and I was like, you know. John, let me ask you a question, though. When you saw the guy on the ground and, and the guy... I didn't see anybody on the ground. Okay, when you saw the guy holding the guy, mm -hmm. what crossed through your mind then? What crossed through my mind? Yeah. Yo. See, I'm just trying to set things up, you know, as to how you felt then. I, th I, think, I think it was like, finally. Finally, they wasn't on me. So do you think this guy maybe hurt or something? Man, I man, I, I was pretty sure that, you know, he, he was hurt. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, finally they ain't on me. I'm, you know, let me get out of here. I don't know what the hell just happened. All right. All right, John. Thanks, man. Yo. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll use the bathroom. Yeah, in just one second, I'll have someone carry you over there. Okay, bro. I'll be right back, John. Excuse me. Yes, how you doing? Um, I was saying, could, is it possible that if I'm um, going to get a little here, that y'all can give my property to my girl? Yes, yes. Y'all not going to keep me? No. Y'all not going to keep me? Huh? Yeah, you're going to be charged. I'm going to be charged with what? Huh? Aggravated battery. Aggravated battery. Hold on. I mean, I mean, it's not obvious self-defense. I mean, I mean, where does aggravated battery come in? We're getting jumped by three, four guys. I mean, where does that? You had every you, you were at your car. I had opportunity to what? Leave. To leave, but I didn't know I had a problem yet. Do you understand that? I'm, I'm trying to understand that. Okay, I didn't know I had a problem. We didn't have words of conflict at any point in time. Do you understand? Okay. We had no words of conflict. I did not know I had a problem. Why would I leave? Mm -hmm. You understand? You and, then I, I, and then I didn't go towards them. I was at my car. Mm -hmm. You understand? I don't have a, I, I don't have the right to stand by my car. I mean, this is going to ruin my life. It's going to ruin my girl's life and everything. And, and, and I know that you guys got to know that basically there's there's no there's no there's no way that I, I was um I initiated anything. You're in a parking lot, you guys get involved in a fight, you bring out a knife. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in a parking lot, I'm standing by my car, 
three guys start running at me. One of them starts walking to me fast. He swings on me. Then the other one start running at me. I, I thought it was more than three. I thought it was four or five guys. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And I'm getting hit so hard, I can't see what's going on. I'm just grabbing for what I can. You understand? And I understand I'm just what you're saying. I'm yeah, just but, saying. But, 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 what, but what is the law about me? You know, because I've, I've been locked up before for something I never did. You understand? And I was locked up for eight months for that before I could even make bail to beat it in trial. Mm-hmm. You understand? Now, this is crazy, man, because, you know, I got my kids. I just now, for the first time, came out here to see them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, in a, in a while where I could see them, and I just got my relationship back with them. You understand? Mm-hmm. My rent is due. I'm going to lose my apartment. My girl doesn't have, you know, she doesn't know her way around here. She's, she's totally dependent on me right now. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, now, basically, you know, you guys are allowing... I mean, I don't know what the, I don't understand how it's aggravated. What'd you say? Battery. Battery. Because I'm getting the hell beat out of me and I'm just barely awake doing the whole thing. You understand? Mm-hmm. I mean, where where does it what sense does that make? I mean, how how do you do that? How do you how do you judge that as aggravated battery? I mean, I wasn't even aggravated. It was all self-defense. As the moment that they stopped hitting on me is the moment that I got in my car and left. Yeah, but based on all the facts of the case. What facts? The facts. The people that were there, that was the uh, ballet and everything. Yeah, did they say? Based on what you told me and based on what they told me, there was opportunity enough for you to leave. You said you weren't down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I told you they was holding me. I told you they was holding but me, and that's probably free, the reason why I was standing there. swinging, too. No, I was swinging with one hand. With one hand. Mm-hmm. I wasn't free swinging. I couldn't walk anywhere. I couldn't even see where the hell I was going. Mm-hmm. Uh, half the time, I'm bouncing off of my car. Mm-hmm. I was not in any position to leave at any moment before then, or else I would have ran. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. Look at my face, man. You think I'm going to sit here? I didn't come out here for this, man. I mean, listen, listen, I don't know these guys. I don't know what they got. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I know is when I, when I get what they got, they, they, was, oh, they, they, they backed up or whatever, for, you know, and I just went straight to my car. Uh, the moment I got a chance to leave, I went straight to my car. The moment. I didn't wait a second. I didn't discuss anything with anybody. I was not free to leave at any point before then. Well, what I need to tell you, the one on that, the one in critical that. Are you playing with me? No. I'm serious. Get the hell out of here, man. Listen, man. Yo, listen, man. I had no point. I had no point that I could leave, man. I had no point that I could leave, man. The moment that I had a chance to leave, I left. If I was firing a gun, believe me, I would have, I felt that scared that I would have used it at that point. I, none of that happened. None of that happened. You know, listen, man, listen, man, I mean, listen, man, I'm going to lose everything I got. I'm going to come out with nothing. And I don't really have anything right now. You understand? Mm-hmm. I got a couple of things that's supposed to be coming on TV for me rapping. That's it. I don't have any money from it, anything. My kids, I just made them promises and stuff that I was going to bring for. I mean, listen, this was, I don't know how long the fight went. It must have been about two minutes, not even two minutes. You understand? Mm-hmm. But, but I was getting, it was, it was crazy at that moment. And I had no way to leave, man. I had no way to leave. And the only time that I could have left was before I decided to conversate with them. Mm-hmm. But I didn't go over there thinking I was going to fight those three big ass dudes. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta, if, I mean, if you are the one who's going to say, yo, whether or not this case is aggravated battery, I mean, I, I mean, whatever, you know, I mean, if you're the one, you know what I mean? 
you gotta you gotta know that, man. You, I mean, I mean, just listening to what they say, I know that they the valet people didn't say that I had a chance to leave during the, the fight. During the conflict, once it started, I know they didn't say I had a chance to leave. Because they was, first of all, the only chance that I might have been able to run was the time when my girl was pushing one of them off of me and I was trying to get them not to hit her. Mm -hmm. That was the only chance that I had an opportunity where I was free with both hands. See, the thing is, you introduced a weapon into a fist fight. A fist fight, man? I was cut. I'm cut. Nobody, we have no weapon. None of them left. How, 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 I mean, how hard is that to, 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 to lose a raise or, or whatever? Mm -hmm. I mean, how hard is that? I mean, I mean. I mean, the independent witnesses, they said no weapons other than yours. No weapons other than mine. So, so what am I doing now? What am I doing? I'm standing outside my car. Talking stuff. Talking stuff. You get in a fight with four guys, they're getting the better of you, and you throw your knife and go to work. I mean, listen, their car was at least 20, 15 feet away from me. They came to me. They came at me. You know, I'm standing there, and I don't know what's going on. Let me tell you what she's going to do. She's going to document all your injuries. Uh, she's going to photograph you, as you are, so that it all be on, on record. Man, listen, man, you're ruining my life, man. My credit, I just got the car that they fixing right now to put a new transmission in. That's why I got the loaner. That only, that's why, why I came out here to see my kids. I said, yo, I got a decent car to do some traveling with. Let me take advantage of this moment. You understand? Now, right now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is not the life I'm living, man. And, and you know what I'm saying? Y'all throwing me back in there. You know, it, I mean, the, I don't even know. I think that the guys that was there was regulars there. And that the, the valet parking people know them or something, man. I don't know, man. But but I think that because I know I heard people calling one of them by name. I don't remember the name or nothing, but I knew that they was in a familiar environment. I wasn't, you know, what I'm saying when I was leaving the club. But I didn't think it was going to be no problem like that. You understand? And I, I, I understand. That. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't I really even think that they. I think they see me with my girl. I didn't think they was going to come and try to jump me. I mean, who does that? Who does that as grown men? As, as, as really standing here, I don't think you went there went there with any intention or came out with any intention to hurt anybody. But the situation itself the was self defense. The, the, that's your that's that's what you got to claim. I mean, I mean, I that's mean, what no, you got to claim. I mean, but I got I got the charges are right now aggravated battery, aggravated battery, and homicide. Now, how can you charge me with that? What do you do to with a victim? I mean, what do you do? I mean, how do you how get How can I not charge you? Tell huh? me, how can I not charge you? How can you not charge me? I mean, you just, you look at the evidence, you say, yo, I know that if you put everybody's stand together. I know together, that you cut. I know that you cut two of them. I know you stabbed one and killed it. So what, is that, what else can I do? Look, man. Hmm? You can recognize. I can let you walk. You can recognize that I couldn't even see what I was doing. You can recognize that I, I could not even see what I was doing. Every time the kid hit me, one of the kids hit me, the other kid would hit me at the same time. Every time the kid hit me, the other kid would hit me at the same time. I couldn't even see. Do you understand being hit, knocked around okay, the got, we, got your, we got that on the I mean, I got that. I got that, what you told me. And I, I, hey, trust me, I'm writing that down. But I, with what happened, all the facts of it, I got to write it up. I ain't better, I ain't better. I'm the fact. There's no, no way around it. And that's, that's the truth. There's no way around it. That's no what you're saying. Around. No matter what nobody's story is about how much it is self-defense. There's no way for you. That is your defense. That is my defense. That's what you're claiming. Your defense is that they were beating you to the point that you had to do what you did. I, my thing, I, mean, I mean, I'm not going to say that, you know, I wanted to, to, to hurt the guy like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate you. You know? 
I can't. I can't. I didn't. I, I mean, all I wanted to do was get them to, to to get away from me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's gonna look like you don't get this done. I mean, I gotta go. Robert Wright did this, and we're talk, still talking. Her. Oh my God, man! But this is crazy, though. This is crazy, man. This usually, is so crazy, that's man. What I'm saying usually you situations know, like this are just a little a flick in your life, and all of a sudden your whole life has changed. I mean. I mean, but they're going to, you know what I'm saying? You were you weren't even playing Who the hell is going to believe me, man? Huh? I'm telling you, you sounded pretty convincing to me. I can't afford nothing. Just tell you, you got to tell me. I got tell nothing. Tell I got nothing. Yo, you know what? I need to make a list of things for my girl to do. Is that possible? Because she has to go and get her life together, man. She don't got... Okay, she, 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 she got with me from a group home, you understand? Yeah, let me tell you she, what. She's been with me for two and a half, three years right now. Let me tell you what. As soon as she gets through and we get through with uh, her, I'll bring her in here and let you talk to her. You would? Yeah. Appreciate that, man. All right. Do you actually have a cut right here on your lower? Or is that just... Yeah, all of, everything is cut. It's not, I don't think it's just blood. <laughs> No, it hurts when I touch it. Okay. I can't believe that kid got hurt. That's so fucking stupid. All right, I'm going to need you to stand up so I can take an overall picture, and then I'm going to move in and document all your injuries, all right? Uh-huh. I don't know. I was spitting blood last time it was coming from my nose, so. You look like a girl off the TV. Mm -hmm. Lucy, are you oriented? Uh -huh. I mean, like right now, I still see spots. Sticker scales that I'm going to put so I can get the size of your injuries, all right? Try not to hurt you too much. guys are bigger than me and all these guys is hitting me my head is going every direction and I'm just thinking to myself wow another hit I didn't go down I mean I mean not that I didn't go down but I'm not knocked out because it feel like I was getting ready to be knocked out and then I feel like I'm grabbing my consciousness Oh, my God. 
God, I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this, man. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. You know. Just He's gonna put your hands in the front. You know what's crazy? Also, I was just talking to my kids more, and okay. she's talking about my temper and stuff. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I don't get down like that, man. You know, she told my son I did when I was 15. When she was 15. No, she pushed the, the thing in there. Yeah, I know. Why do I have to use this mother? Because I got a phone in there. Is that thing coming off of my face? Yeah, it's all right. That wasn't done. That's great. How you doing? Man, this shit just makes Actually, if this is done, I'll go ahead and do your three full squats. Good. And now I got people hating me, man. I turn around again, please. You see, I told you they were cutting me, man. Yeah, do you have anything on your knees? Do you know? I believe so. I feel like
see on the other knee? Just this clause right here. Where they cut. Are you going to take this off to check it or no? Um, I don't know. Can you get Dave? These are cuts. Yeah, I know. I just don't know if we'll be able to put it back on and what the Man, rest of it I need that on there if you're going to take. Because I, they sitting here like these guys had no weapon on me, and they, and and you know, like they was fighting to justify a fight or something, Oh my God. What finger had that cut on now on this hand? What's your middle? Are they investing anybody else? I mean, arresting. Oh, arresting, I don't know. I mean, God, man. This is crazy, man. I thought it was against the law for people to get. Do I need to take the bandages off? And if so, what are we doing with them? God, man, this is so fucked up, man. This is so fucked up, man. This is so fucked up, man. Every time I come to Florida, it's some crazy shit. Are y'all going to give her my call? Do you know? Please, man. Please give her the car in some direction, man. Don't put her out there on the street, man. Your name is high on all kinds of drugs, man. I bet you. Yeah. 
Here, I'm going to go into your buccal swabs. If we need to, we'll photograph those. We need to do what? These are cheek swabs inside your cheek. Oh, what's that for? Uh, DNA. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, you know, at no point in time could I have turned away. Every time I looked one direction, I was getting punched in the other. There was no way for me to go. No way for me to go. I didn't have a chance to look the way I wanted to look. I didn't have a chance to see the faces of the guys the way I wanted to see them. I didn't have a chance to speak. Like I had a chance, I had a chance for nothing. The guy that was talking to me, that yeah, I thought I was going to be talking to, is not even the guy who walked up to me and hit me. The guy I thought that I was going to be, you know, popping shit with, is not even the guy who walked up to me and hit me. A total number guy that I didn't even know, you know, I didn't even have a word with that. I didn't even speak to this guy. These are your swabs. I need you to watch me put them in here. I'm going to seal it up and everything right in front of you. Give me your initials half on the tape, half on the um, envelope, just like I did. All right? What, Best what you can. What does it say? What's the name? This is the swabs, yeah. That's it? Yeah. And what's your name? I'm sorry? Yes? Mm-hmm. And what's your date of birth? Not 1874. And what's your current address? 1955 Bells Ferry Road. Bells Ferry? Bells Ferry. Two separate words. And where is that? Marietta, Georgia. I need you to 
sign right here, just so that we have the signature of the person I collected the swaps from. Can you sign? Best you can. Hey, this is a GSR kit. This is for gunshot residue. It'll tell us if you fired a weapon this evening or this morning. I'll send the detective back in. Okay, that's his call. I don't have anything to do with that. I need her to have proper instructions on what she can do for herself. You know, I take her to school and everything. I, I think that, yeah.
air to be carried on he's trying to get me in jail Do you have an occupation? Do you work? Well, I'm in the music. I sell independent music. You have any hobbies? I do music. I'm cool. Are they gonna get with my girl? Huh? Are you gonna get let me Yeah, I'm gonna take care of it. Uh, you need to change into that. And she's gonna leave that closet. For what? Huh? It's all evidence. It's got your blood on it, their blood on it. His uh wound, I couldn't get to because they're all covered up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't know what you want to do about it. I mean, this I took where, pictures. This is one of the spots where I was cut. This is where I blocked the cut. The, uh, the, 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 there was some cut of me, and this is one of the spots where they cut me. So, I mean, this I is important evidence. The, mm-hmm. Especially well, if you're going to go in front of the grand jury with it. You need to let them know that they did have a weapon. You want to pull that off? Let them make sure she gives a child? Yeah. Go ahead. So, you don't want me to do it? Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> hey. And you have anything I can bandage it back with? I don't have any. I can check. I'll check around too. Get them take. I know we got a first aid kit somewhere. I'll need two more bandages too. So I'll have to take those off of this and just do it. So top tank jeans. You want to shoot? Yes, shoes, shoes, jeans, shirt. Okay. Okay. Hey, yo, you know what's funny? I ran out of boxes. I'm wearing these funny-ass briefs that my girl told me to wear. She bought them for me. I told her, no, I don't want them. Shit. And this is what I got to fucking wear right now. I'm going to give you this to wear. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? In between time. In between just that. I, I, I was thinking, I was watching Whoopi Goldberg yesterday, and she was saying something about how girls or mother used to say, 
make sure your drawers are clean and stuff because you never know what's going to happen to you. I told me I want these stitches. I need stitches, don't it? It's some cold hearted ass right here. I think you try to throw me around. Paramedic dude. Try to throw me around. You know, he was doing work worse than the police. Like, yeah, you don't deserve nothing. Okay, I'm gonna take these off too so I can get the wounds on your fingers. Yeah, I knew it. That's what I'm trying to say. I was blocking the, the night, man. I was blocking the night work. But now I'm sitting here doing this, talking this. I can't even remember everything, man. Because I was, everything was a reflex. It was cutting me up, man. They put all that in there. This is important, man. I wasn't trying to stab them. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to punch them. If you look at my hand, you could tell I was trying to punch them. Because I knew that's what I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to kill nobody. But it came to the point where, you know, I was getting hit up and so dizzy. I was just like, yo, you know? Come on, man. It's not the work of no, when you're trying to come up and kill somebody. This is ruining my life, though. I ain't gonna have sh nothing after this. Nothing. No place to live. No nothing. No credibility with my friends and family. Nothing. And the whole thing is, I got locked up before for something I never did, for something I never knew about. Somebody pulled me out of a mugshot and brought me into the jail, and I was facing a whole lot of time. You know, this is. In 2000, no, 1994. All right. Um, the police come to my house. You want to uncuff him? And I need you to take all of the clothes off, except for your underwear. I'm laughing. Okay. 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 This is a one piece suit that you just zip up the front once I have all your clothes. Wow, this is really good. Okay. I can't. Open it in there. Okay, this, this, is, this is coming over here. I need something. Yeah, he's going to try to find more tape. I don't want to get infected. That's a big one. I mean, come on, man. I got you. I'm getting, I'm getting killed out here, man. I'm getting killed. I would probably have been dead if I didn't back them dudes off the way I did. I would have probably been dead. They had no reason for that. They were just wilding on me. They didn't know me. I didn't say your mother. I didn't say nothing to them. I didn't even curse at them dudes. You don't need this one, right? Mm -hmm. I do need you that. do need this one? Because mm -hmm. it's torn. I'm going to need everything freezing. except for your. You can put that on. That's going to be cold.
I don't know how mom drove them. I need your shoes too. You can take Will you unzip it so I can just take a picture of your upper body and see if there are any bruises or anything? Oh, no, no, no. I know, it'll help. Just see, do you have some red marks? You see, right there too. Hold on, just listen. Just show me. Just show me. You see, that's where that's that's for me trying not to be cut. It's obvious, you understand? But they took pictures of all this. Yeah. That's why I said never mind. I thought about it. It's a picture of it. I can't get it off with this thing. And, uh, but you can see, I'm blocking, you know, myself from being possibly killed. You know? It's not obvious. I mean, who the hell picks a fight with four guys that's bigger than him? And then, you know, come on now. This is crazy. This is definitely crazy. Oh, man. 
This is crazy. I'm in a state where I don't know nobody, and it's crazy. You see, I don't have any friends out here. Any friends or family. All I have is kids that depend on me out here. I'm locked up out here. I mean, have you ever heard of anybody going home from the grand jury for self defense? Have you ever heard of it? I'm not saying you think I have not You said no. I don't know. I don't know. No, you never heard of it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Did you ask the um, detective to come in? If he's think if you get a call from a dealership, right, alone, that you could drop it off at an, another dealership that's, like, let's say it's Lexus, right? Can you drop it off in any Lexus dealer? Mm, I don't think so. I wouldn't imagine that. Yeah, I This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. Where the hell is justice, man? Where the hell is the law? Innocent before proven guilty or whatever. I mean, how can you come up with a charge of homicide? What is it? Involuntary homicide or something? I mean, I mean, damn near, the kid had to run into the fucking knife. Damn near, he had to run into it. It's not like I chased anybody down. I didn't move out of the perimeter of my car. Girls coming at me like what? Like, 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 like they wanted to kill me. I don't even know these guys. I've never seen these guys before in my life. They just felt like making an example, probably, in front of those girls. See that. I ain't fired no gun. I had the gun. 